also so good at this situation. I'm gonna help you. I got a message about my card to call you guys. Yes, you have reached the department of social security administration. So when did you receive the call? Um, probably around noon. All right. So in order to go ahead and give you the further information, can I have your last four of your social security number? Yeah, three nine eight four. Three nine eight four, right? Correct. All right. And can I have your current zip code? Yeah, 98201. 98201. Correct. Right. And can I have your first name and your last name? Lucas Vandekar. How do you spell your first name? L U C A S. And your last name? V A N D E C A R. Sorry? V A N D E C A R. All right, so hold the line for a moment. Let me go ahead and pull up your file and confirm the verbals if you call, okay? Copy that. Sorry? I said okay, thank you. Thank you. Do you want Shanna, buddy? Oh. Yes, are you there? Yes. All right. So this call is to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action against your name and your social security number. Okay. So regarding this, we have got in order to suspend the social on immediate basis. Because on the what? Your social has been found suspicious for committing some fraud activities in the state of Texas. In Texas? So are you aware about the situation? No, I've never been to Texas. Have you ever been to the state of Texas before? Just once. So first of all, grab a pen and a piece of paper. Oh, okay. So that I can provide you some primary information which you can write it down. Some what information? Some primary information. Okay. Once you're ready, just let me know, alright? I'm ready. Alright, so first of all, write it down your case setting number. Write it down? Your case setting number, yes. Okay, hold on. Your case setting number. Okay, go ahead. Your case ID number starting with your A's and Apple. Number eight, number seven, number three, number five, and letter C to Charlie, P.S. and Peter. Okay. All right. And write it down, my name is Jack Murray. Write it down, Jack Murray. Yes, my last name is Marvin. M A R V I N. Marvin. Yes. Okay. Okay. With a batch ID number SSM5241. SSM5241. 5241. Correct. Okay. So let me go ahead and explain you the situation about this case. Okay. But before that, I want to inform you that the line on which we are talking right now is totally recorded by Social Security Administration. Oh, it's being recorded? And Law Enforcement Agency for Quality and Control Purpose. By the Law Enforcement but Agency? You have to be very honest. Are they both recording it? Right. Okay. So, oh, I will. All right. 
So the investigation started under your name and your mm. social security number when we recover an abandoned car in the South Florida of Texas. An abundant car? They make... Yes. Okay. They make and made model of their car was Toyota, Corolla, 2009 with the VIN number Texas 270398. I never had a Toyota this Corolla. This car was long screen. And when the local authorities have reported about this car, they found some money and drug residue inside the car. Money and drugs? So which oh car no! And after the investigation, they found that the car was rented under your name and your social security number. I never had a Toyota Corolla though. So right now, your name is in the federal investigation in the state of Texas with the two criminal charges pressed against your name which is drug trafficking and money laundering. Okay. Because we are having a very short time and what you happened was totally against the law of U.S. Treasury. It's a what? And we have to send a risk warrant against your name and we have to suspend your social security number right now. What happened? Can you hear me? Yeah, what happened? <clears throat> And here, according to section 42, subsection C of 1958, Answer me. What happened? Administration Act, you are going to be taken for non valuable jail for terms of nine years, and the penalty should be more than seventy to $80,000. What happened? Sorry? What happened? So, let me ask you a very quick question. Have you ever lost your wallet or any personal information in the past? I lost my wallet in El Segundo. Sorry? I lost my wallet in El Segundo. All right. So when we investigate about this car, we found under your name and your social security number. So right now the case is under your name and your social security number. Okay. And you say that you are not involved in this case. No. I've only been to taxes once. Are you sure that you are not involved in this case? Yes, I promise. Alright. So if you really say that you're not involving in this case, it might be the matter of identity theft. I don't so know right what you just said, but I agree. Your involvement in this case. I'm right. Sorry, what you just say? I said I don't know what you just said, but I agree. All right. So if you really say that you're not involving in this case, we need your cooperation. Okay. If you cooperate, whatever you need. To the administration. Yes. We will go ahead and find a person who misses information. Oh, right. thank you so much. And that'll clear my name. And we will go ahead and find a person who misses information. All right. Yeah, I'm curious who it is. So, what is your intention? Are you willing to copy with the Social Security Administration? Yeah. Or do you want us to suspend the social and get arrested? What is your intention? Oh, I don't want to get arrested, sir. I'm here for the what long haul. Attention? I want to cooperate in every way possible. Thank you. What do I need to do? Right. What do I need to do to clear my name? So that is on the only reason we try to reach you before you face any kind of legal consequences. Right. So in that case, we will go ahead and suspend your sorcerer right away from your name. And we I thought you said that if I cooperate, we. Right. I thought you said if I cooperate, we don't have to suspend my social or get the police involved or get arrested. Uh, we will go ahead and suspend your social right away from your name, and we have to issue a new social for you, right? When do I get it? Because I need it. I need it fast. How am I supposed yes, to buy you're stuff? Yes, you're going to cut it back tomorrow. Okay, that's good. So if I'm okay today, then with the one I have. Yes. Okay, good. I was nervous. You're going to cut it back tomorrow. Okay, right? good. Thank you. Does it just come in the mail? Is it overnighted to me? Sorry? Is it overnighted? USPS? A view of our officer will come down at your doorstep tomorrow. Oh, they'll bring it right to me? Deliver your new social security number. What time do you know? So I can make sure I'm home. Alright, so at what time you will be free tomorrow? Like about 10 o'clock. 
10 o'clock. Yeah. All right. All right, so as you want to include the copies with the Social Security Administration. I'm sorry, what did you just Let say? Let me go ahead and transfer this code to one of my senior officer who is holding your case file, right? Okay. Who can help you out for further procedure to renew your Social Security number. Okay. Right? All right. Hold the line for a moment, all right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for holding the line. Are you yeah. still with? Yes. Right. Your call has been transferred to senior officer, the DEA Drug Enforcement Administration officer, Edward Lee. Okay. Manu Dumama speaking with. Yeah, Lucas Vandekar. Lucas Vandekar. Right. Lucas, this is the DEA officer, Edward Lee, with yeah, the badge number said. FN FN four one seven eight two. Okay. That's the badge number. All right. So there is a, yeah, which I have the last four digit of his social security number is 3984. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah. Do you have the case ID number with you? Yeah, it's A8735CP. Right. I wrote it with my left hand, so it's hard to read. So I have the I have your chip code. Every chip code is nine eight two oh one. Correct. Yes, Lucas. There is a case registered under your name. There is a warrant issued under your name for drug trafficking and money laundering. Yeah, but I did, we already discussed it that there's probably somebody else. It wasn't I understand. Me. So see. Your court has been transferred to us. Since you are not aware of this, you want to resolve this issue. Yeah, Shaggy said it wasn't me. That. Right, I see. So, we found that like there were 20 bank accounts and 7 credit accounts has been registered. It has been opened using your personal information. How? Thousands of dollars has been... They just did it with my social security number? Using yeah, that? it has been linked to your social yeah, it has been all of those bank accounts has been linked to your social security number. That's Could it be from when I left name. my wallet in El Segundo, maybe? Because I lost it there. We don't know. Because my ID would, know. you need oh. my ID too. So they probably right. had we to get an ID how, made. We don't know how to get your personal information. Right. What we see here is that if you're not the one who is committing this crime, that means someone has already compromised your personal information because they have misused by committing a crime. So we got a report that is thousands of dollars has been wired illegally from a different places on a numerous occasion. Uh -huh. So we got a report. Yeah, we got a report. We got a, a statement from the IRS says that this person, it is under the name of Lucas Vendica, has a banding taxes of more than $55,000. 55000 so, Right, that's what I'm saying. Oh my God! So if you're not the one who yeah, is committing me. this crime, that means somebody is doing a money laundering without your knowledge. Right, that's what I'm saying. Unit. That's what's happening exactly. Well, right, that is the reason. The we got an order. We got an order to suspend the social security number from the federal courthouse. Okay. That means that. But he said they'll the get delivered here tomorrow, though, right? They'll be re-delivered tomorrow. No, I, that depends on how you proceed, proceed this case. Okay. That depends on that. Okay. But if you, in the case, if you, if you would like to, if you are willing to cooperate with us, then you will receive by tomorrow. Which I am. That, in that case, if, I understand. So what I'm trying to say is that here, 
by the time we suspend your social security number, everything we just link under your name like a traveler. It's your passport. Your bank account will be suspended. Oh no. And, yeah, when we suspend your bank account, if you have any money which is under your name, like in your checking or in saving and your debit credit, oh, which I amount, do. Any fund will be, so that will be seized by the US Treasury Department. What do you mean you seized? Will be able to get back. When will I get it? How will I get it back? I'll explain to you, okay? I'll, okay. I'll get back to you. Now, what I'm trying to say is that if you have any money that you have saving in your account, that the amount will be seized by the U.S. Treasury Department. So in order They're going to gonna seize it all my funds? I want you to listen and I'll explain to you. Something. Okay. Right. We need to regenerate a new social security number. And it takes maximum 24 hours. Remember, it takes t maximum 24 hours to regenerate a new social security number. During this period, all of your credentials, including your bank account, will be suspended. And by the time when the Treasury Department get into your bank account, if they if they found any like a fund under your name, they will take it away. They will seize your bank account, and you wouldn't be able to get it back. Even that the offshore accounts. Yeah, let me think. Oh. Before before we suspend your bank account, you still have a time to safeguard your hard earning money. When I say safeguard, either way you have to cash it out or empty your account. And when you do that, we will be allotting you a safety locker. Well, a safety locker is a, a temporary account which we provided those persons who are under investigation for drug trafficking and money laundering. That means that you have to when you cash it out, when you have the money in form of cash, you can depart the money, put the money in the safety locker only for 24 hours. I can depart it? That means that. Come again? Departing it? No, no. You to a safety deposit. locker? Oh, yeah. Deposit the money in the safety locker is only for 24 hours. Okay, and then what? Now. And then what? And then, and then when you successfully deposit the money, when you successfully do that, I will... Oh, you're saying deposit. You're officer. saying deposit. I keep hearing you say right. deported, and I didn't get it. I didn't understand no, no, no. what you meant. No. How, how could you deposit the money, sir? Well, that's you what you said. Money, you said right? I know, but no, you said sorry, deported, not deposit. So right. when you say oh, deport so, so. In, instead of right. deposit, it's a totally different word. Right. So you got to say deposit. Oh, right. Okay. So, under your name, how many bank accounts do you have? Four. Right, can you please na name the name of the bank that you're banking with? Well, I used Chase, and I got mm -hmm. a, a checking account, which is one, a savings mm -hmm. account, my retirement, mm -hmm. and then I have a business account with Chase, all with Chase. All of Chase? So, it's all one account. It's just four accounts within one. So it's one bank account. Right. So all the information is under one bank account. So, uh, but I have four wrong, separate have accounts. Checking, checking uh, savings, checking, retirement, and and, retired? and yeah, I'm retarded. Mm -hmm. And I have a um, business account too, because even though I'm retarded, I business still account. I still do business on the side, and I have an account for it. All right. So in like in your checking account, what could be the maximum amount that you have, or approximate amount? Oh, I don't know. I haven't checked in a while. I would probably say, well, I'm transferring some Bitcoin around right now. So I'm just transferring some into my right. account because it's up. Um, I bought when it okay. was kind of low. So I just transferred like three Bitcoin and it should be in my account mm -hmm. this morning because I think it's pretty quick. I've only I've only done it a few times, but it should be in my right. savings account right now. Yeah. But my checking, I don't I know. know. My checking do doesn't have a whole lot because most of my savings has the money. So checking probably just like twenty two hundred dollars or something last time I checked. Twenty two hundred dollars. Yeah. And your and your saving approximately like including your Bitcoin. Um. I don't know thirty eight thousand something like that. Thirty thousand. Right. Thirty eight. All right. So about a Bitcoin, uh, per point, or, 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 for how much do you purchase for that? How many Bitcoin do I have? I don't have any idea. I bought yeah. quite a bit back in the day when it was like $7 each. 
I got really lucky and bought in it early. Was. Yeah, I yeah, bought. It was, but at the moment. Right now, it's like 13 k or something like that. Thirteen k. That's a lot. Yeah, I have about I don't know about eighty left, eighty Bitcoin. Because mm -hmm. I bought a hundred to begin with, and I've cashed out about mm -hmm. twelve, total. Well, I see it's like a job hundred, a job thousand and uh, nine hundred ninety-one something at the moment. What's that? For, for Bitcoin, for Bitcoin is job hundred, job thousand and one hundred ninety-one something. Yeah, it's right under thirteen thousand, something like that. So, for how much? You say you 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 purchased two Bitcoin today? No, I transferred three Bitcoin you into my into my savings Bitcoin. account. I have about oh, well, about eighty eight left in my account. Because right, I started okay. with a hundred and I've sold twelve. Or I bought. I cashed out twelve. I sold a couple. I see. And I cashed out. You sold a couple. Three last oh. night, so it should be in my account right now. But the well, rest, the rest is all out. in my Coinbase account. I started buying right. probably well when it first started. When the when the craze started, it went from went from like three dollars all the way up to seven and that's when i bought in at seven and then it went all the way up uh -huh. to gosh it was up there at around thirty thousand at one point and then it dropped a ton and i got really scared i sold yeah, a few for the, last, for the last year last year it has been dropped it has been dropped no, yeah never, you know. it dropped a ton from when when it was up at its peak and then i uh so it, you think it's, it, it's a good time to invest on bitcoin at this time right now absolutely i would put all your money in bitcoin but for the last year, though, it doesn't work, right? It's right, it's going back like up, though. Invest, yeah, it's like going up right now. It's it's uh, it's going up. It's I mean, it's going down a little bit, but for the most part, it's on the rise. It was at three thousand just a couple months ago, so it's gone up ten thousand dollars in the past just a couple months. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. I understand. So I, I mean, either way, though, I bought it seven dollars each. Uh -huh. So at, at I I got it. twelve thousand. Yeah, I'm doing okay. You're like you're, you're wise. Yeah. yeah. You're wise to do that. You, I, you got your chances. So I'm super that's smart. Fine. That's great. Yeah. So anyways. So you say that. So it says that you have a debit card for this, right? Yes. All right. And you have a credit card for for the same bank for the Chase. Yeah. And do you owe any credit card apart from this? Oh, no, apart no, no, case? no. I just eat. That's if I ever need money, money, I just cash in a Bitcoin or sell it mm -hmm. on, the, on the market or order stuff right. off of the torrent site, get some okay. illegal drugs. <clears throat> so now, here's what you need to do. So okay. Like I told you before we, yeah, before we, you know, freeze your fund, freeze your account, what you need to do is that you just have to head back to your bank Oh. Cash it out even says you can, even though you you have like a you know if it's a big amount that you have some limits in the day, you may not be cash it out all of them at a, uh, at the same time. So what you need to do is that you need to go. So to just my bank, bank accounts, and right? Cash it out. Just my bank, my yes, my right. Coinbase and my Bitcoin is safe. It will be safe. But okay. First, you need to you know cash it out from your checking account. So you have like a twenty two. Twenty two hundred in my yeah, in my checking and then thirty eight thousand in my savings. And then my oh, of course I have my retirement down. and um, right. that kind of stuff. But so here's the thing, I'll be online with you. That uh -huh. means you are not you're not allowed to disconnect the call since we are recorded. This is a three week conference call. So I want you to go go to your bank right away uh, here. Well, what if I just, I'm just going to buy some more Bitcoin and put it in my Coinbase account, just transfer that money that way. And then that way it's all in my Coinbase and that'll be safe. No, 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 no. Even though that is, it, it, it is in, under your name, so what I'm trying to say is that you... Yeah, but it's, a, it's safe. It It'll be safe if it's in my Coinbase account because cryptocurrency no, no, is that's untraceable. That's so I'll just transfer... It, is, it might be... I can just transfer, I can just buy things, some, so. I can buy like, I don't know, three or four Bitcoin no. and then my accounts will be at zero and then it'll be safe. Crypto, and then when I need to, once we get a well. new account set yeah. up and all that, we can just transfer it over. 
Well, you, if whatever you do, you want to do, you, you can do it. But uh, that saving, that saving account is under your name. Right. Right. Yeah. That so let's cancel. Let's yeah. Account. Let's close out that account. We can just close it out. I'm going to transfer the money. Let me see here. Mm -hmm. How easy will that be to transfer into my Coinbase right now? Close that out. I'll jump on my computer here. Let me turn my computer on here and see what that'll take. Because I can probably just transfer everything over, even down to the penny, so that um, there's nothing there to worry about. And then I'll be safe, right? And then we can just close them out. We can just close the accounts out. Oh, you can do that. It's, it's okay. not just about that we're worried. That it's not about that we're worried about your quick. bank accounts. So okay. Even cool. even lose your credence, all of your credence, rival and since your passport. Yeah. And you. As long as the money's no, safe, though, I'm that. cool. Let me transfer that real That's quick. That's fine, sir. All right. Oh, All right, so here's what I'm going to do for you, okay? Hold on, I'm entering my code right now into yeah. Coinbase. While you're doing let me say you, sir. Okay. Right, while you're doing that... I'm just going to buy these three. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, if I buy 3.5 Bitcoin, that should be perfect. So that's your, that's your business. It's, it's none of my business, so okay? You, you should tell me how much you're going to buy. All right, it's done. Right? My accounts are empty. That's I have. Business. I have just Bitcoin now in my Coinbase, so I have nothing in my checking, nothing in my savings now. I have some in my retirement still because I don't know what to do with that. Is that safe or is that different? Here's the thing, sir. Let me tell you one thing. I'm going to activate this, this case file. Then we're going to send this case file to your local authorities. Then I don't know what that means. Get a lawyer. I right, have sir. a lawyer. Well, you need. I mean. Yeah, you can get a lawyer. I have a lawyer. You can get your lawyer, but let me say you want it. I, want I have a lawyer. You can get a lawyer. I have a lawyer. I knew it. I knew it, sir. So I why would I need to problem. get one? I already have one. No, you have it. That I means do. you need to get a lawyer. You have yours. I do. Let me say you want it. Uh huh. You need to call your lawyer, tell them that I have a red swollen because I'm going to send this case file to your local authorities. Mm -hmm. your, your local authorities from the city officer will call you, say that you have a case file. Uh -huh. that is under your name. And then I just give them that. Then I just tell them that A eight seven three five CP is my case ID listen number. Carefully, listen carefully. Let me do the talking, and you, you, you can ask me any question. Okay? How does that? Let's not waste time. How does it okay. work? It's for your own sake. I'm not working for my, for my sake. I'm working for right. someone. Right. Yeah, I want to take listen. care of this for sure, but I don't. We don't need to do the arrest warrant I stuff. I want you to listen carefully. If you want we got to. Gotta, we got to close carefully. my accounts and put them in a safety locker, right? Let me tell you, sir. We have Let to do a safe you. locker. What? Will you listen to me, sir? Yes. All right. What, what, what I'm trying to say is, I'm going to forward this case file to the authorities. We're going to activate this arrest warrant. Ford. And you, you would. You I thought it was yeah, a. I funny. thought it was a Toyota Corolla. Now you're saying it's a Ford? With the what does a Ford have to do with anything, with the though? Federal government. And within five or six minutes, all of your bank accounts, your driver license, your passport, and your estate will be safe. But so why? I'm cooperating. I'm cooperating. No, 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 you're not doing anything. You're not doing anything, sir. So. Yes, I am. I you're told you. I'm ready to do it right now. Let's close it up and start no, a safety locker. Not. I'm sorry about it, sir. So what I don't I'm understand. You will be receiving a call for the emergency number from the 911. Uh huh. To please speak to call, and someone will tell you that you have an arrest warrant about this case. With the, the case ID A eight seven three five CP, do I give them right, that? Right, right, okay, right. Okay, cool. Your name will be published. And then your that's when I get my new social security. In a newspaper. And they'll bring the and new social security back. card to you, me. You. They're gonna bring it. You the will be getting arrested. Get That's arrested right. for what, though? I didn't do anything, sir. He hung up on me, guys. Now I'm going to get arrested. Go to jail. And get butt sexed to death. So that'll be cool. So I got that to look forward to. 
Well, that's it, guys. I'm uh, I'm gonna call it. 